engaged shopping trip to Tony's Trains of Rugby. What did we get this time? Let's find out, shall we? Roll the intros. Hello and welcome back to Chelmsford Junction. I'm Peter. As the title suggests today, it has been an engage shopping trip to Tony's Trains of Rugby. Um, I went down there the other day, saw a few bits and pieces that I liked, so I thought, hmm, got a few prices off of Tony, come into my price range. So I thought, yeah, why not? It's January, it's a new year, let's treat myself. So let's spin the camera around, have a look on the worktop and see what we've got this time, shall we? So we're going to start off with the small bits first. And first of all, now these are all electro frog and these are all engage. This is the Pico SL-E397 medium radius code 80 Y point. We've also got two of the SLE396 code 80 medium radius left hand points. And also two of the SL-E395 code 80 medium radius right hand points. So that's those little bits. So we'll get them out of the camera shot very, very quickly. Next one up we've got is the Pico, um, I'll just try and find a code for you guys. There it is. It is the NB-80 train shed unit. And this is, this could be made as just a, the single unit as it is, or as it shows you on the back, if you buy multiple of them, you can then build them into a bigger shed. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start building a engage layout that will hopefully eventually go into the loft and i'm hoping if once i get enough of these packs um i'm going to have enough to hold a eight mark three rake of coaches with two of the power cars so i'll probably get be able to get a full hst in there and obviously voyagers and class 800s and things like that so that is going to be a big build when i get enough of these units to build them. Next, we have a single coach for now. As you guys know, I got the HST set of this uh, livery the other day, and I picked up this one here, and I'll give you the code, guys. It is 2P-006-005, Mark III Sleeper, number 10612 in First Great Western, Fag packet livery. I think that's a nice little loco, and these retail at the moment at about £25 each. So that's a lot cheaper than the double O version. You're looking at about £40 to £50 for one of these in double O if you can get your hands on them. Next one we have is a Dapol Class 68 in DRS livery. And this one is 2D022-008, and it is 68004 Rapid. Nice little loco there. Um, as you guys know, I do have this in the double O version. So I thought, right, might as well get it in the Engage version. And this is DCC ready, and it can be chipped with, I believe, a function decoder from Dapol. Next one we have is a Graham Farish Class 57 in Great Western Railway Livery. And again, the code is Graham Farish 371-660, Class 57-6, which is 603 Tintagel Castle. And like I said, all these DCC ready, and this will accept a 6 DCC chip. Next one 
we have is oh actually and as you can see guys it's still in its outer wrapper so we can take that off now and we have a lovely class 31 from Graham Farish this one is 371-137 and it's class 31-6 refurbished 31602 in network rail livery and as you can see it can take a next 18 DCC chip so again this one is DCC ready but it can go on DCC and all these locos that I'm buying today that I've bought today will be uh, DCC chipped for a layout that will be DCC controlled so that's that one next one is a rather nice Dapol class 50 code on that one is 2d-002-001 and it's class 50 50043 in br blue unrefurbished livery so this livery is like late 70s early 80s livery that one is next one again is a graham farish it is a class 101 and the code is 371-505 and it's a class 101 two car DMU in network southeast livery and again it is a six pin DCC decoder in that uh, I'm not sure of whether you need two in that or just the one for the motor car oh, <coughs> excuse me guys um, obviously in the instructions that will tell you I will be doing reviews on all of these anyway so once I know all the information on them then I can obviously come back and tell you what they are Next one again, brand spanking newest in its cover. People are going to say, oh God, yeah, I have got a Dapol 2D-142-003 and it is 142022, engaged class 142 in mock Great Western chocolate and cream livery. Now, I am not sure whether or not this ran uh, on the Great Western region at all, but at the end of the day, it is in mock Great Western colours. So, as you all know, I am a GWR person, so that is a nice little set for uh, my Great Western region railway. And last but no means least, now I saw this one today and I absolutely fell in love with it. Let's find the code for you first. The code is 2S-013-010. It is a 9F-92220. And this, this set is the Pine Express Evening Star with four Gresley Maroon coaches. Just take a look at this set, guys. Again, I'm going to be doing reviews on all of these. Oh, sorry about the shaky camera there, guys. I will be doing a review on all of these, but that is an absolute blinding set. I th and the price that I paid for it, if you were to try and get this in double O gauge, it'll cost you a mini fortune. But this in N gauge, it's such a lovely price. And I'm tell you what, I'm so glad I got this one. It is really, really nice. I've never had a 9F before. And as you can see, it's the from the, the Dapol Express collection. And obviously, this may be even a limited edition run. I don't know. I'll have to check up on that. But that is my nice little haul from Tony's trains today of rugby. I always make sure that I give Tony a real, real good mention. He's an absolute cracking guy. If you've never been to his shop and you're near the rugby area, really go in there and, you know, Tony will look after you, and that is a promise. So there is my goodies from my shopping trip from Tony's Trains today. Um, when I went there, I didn't ex uh, expect to get as much as I did, but for the prices that Tony had them for, well, I just had to get them. Um, you know, it's going to put a lot, lot more rolling stock onto my layout, onto the engage, 
And like I said, I will be building a new end gauge, which eventually will be going up in the loft. Um, so I'm gonna have a real nice selection of locos and rolling stock once I get up in the loft. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. As always, I've enjoyed making it for you. If you have enjoyed it, please, as always, smash that like button down on the left-hand side. If you are new to my channel and you've recently subscribed, a great big thumbs up. Hope that you're enjoying the content that you've watched so far. And I also hope that you enjoy future content in the future. And to all my subscribers that have been with me for a very long time, again, a great big thumbs up. Thank you for staying with me. Um, I just also want to say a massive, massive thank you to you all um, regarding my double O gauge pricing video. I was absolutely bricking it uh, publishing that video. I thought I was going to get a lot, a lot of hate on that one. But you guys, I mean, you've a lot of there's been over 4,000 views in just over three days. I've never had a video. Uh, have that many views in three days in, in all the time I've been doing my YouTube channel. I've been absolutely blown away. All you guys have been on my side. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you for all your nice comments. I've not had any nasty comments uh, to that video whatsoever. So again, great big thumbs up to you guys. Thank you for supporting me on that one. And like I said, I was a bit worried about putting that one on YouTube. If you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, guys, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, guys, look after yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling and bye-bye from Chelmsford Junction.